I'd like to show you how you can mix tracks, adjust their level and panning position, and then render them to an audio file. I'm going to show you two different ways of inserting tracks into Reaper. First you can insert the track directly. You can then insert the media onto that track. I'll just pick one of these audio clips. I am on the left side of the room. All right, notice the clipping indicator is active. I'm going to back off on the level just a little bit. I am on the left side of the room. All right, now Control T is a shortcut. And then you can press the insert button to insert the media. And grab another clip. Over here, I am standing to your right. And you can freely position these anywhere you like. You can then adjust the panning to locate the sound in the stereo field. I'll go hard left on one and hard right on the I other. I'm on the left side of the room. Over here, I am standing to your right. All right, let me show you a second way to get the tracks into your project. Go back to insert, insert media, and then do a multi-file select to pick all of the WAV files at the same time. And yes, I do want to import these onto separate tracks. All right, move these to the appropriate locations. Let me adjust the level a little bit on each one of these. I know this one's supposed to end up at the right. This one's at the left. Let's take a listen. I am on the left side of the room. I am facing you directly. Over here, I am standing to your right. And if you're listening in stereo or you have headphones or earbuds on, you should have been able to hear those sounds in the appropriate locations. Lastly, let me show you how you can render this to a file. I want to do the entire project located to this directory and using this base file name. We'll go with our system sampling frequency and then I'm going to pick a WAV file for my output. You can show the actual file this way and it created the WAV file that you see right here. All right, hopefully that gives you a quick idea of how you can insert tracks, adjust level and panning, and then render to an audio file.